painting a couple of beehives. Show you what we got up to date. Keeping in mind, I don't know nothing about bees, but this is where we this is where we are up to now. It's a bottom board, they tell me. Solid. 3 8 plywood. That 3 quarter by 2. Long pieces with a, whatever they call that, a groove cut around through the inner. Got a rivet on the end. Two coats of white. Exterior grade latex. Paint. And this is one of them, that's just going by the book, is all I'm telling you about. Just I'm kind of proud of the woodwork. And that's, the, that's the reason for the video, is the woodwork. Cut them handholes in there. And uh, it's three quarter inch pine board. But, it's got that ribbit across there. And down through here, and... Then we nail it all together with some glue, you, you've got a pretty sturdy box. But th th this is a medium going, going by the size wise right here. Up and down this way, that's a medium. And um, th th these are some frames I put together. I bought some, some you know, frame parts, unassembled, and then glue and nails. And that's five of them. That's five of them right there. And I'm going to put some wax in there at some point in time. But the, the spacing and everything, you know, is really good. I think. Not knowing nothing about this thing, you know, about B space, about how high, high, about how high it is down that way, right there. And then when you put nothing on top of this right here, you've got some distance between. I'll show you something. Down there at the bottom, and I don't think, I don't, sometimes they may not be taking that in consideration, it may not even be important, is how deep this is right here, how important that measurement is, to work, if you get this distance between the bottom of that frame, that's just a thought now, so you put a nothing on top of here, this is a deep, I mean, bring this up at your B class tonight if you want to. See, that's a deep. But let's say, let's say, let's say that you know I was building a, a hive. Well, the, the space between. Oh, I hope I don't confuse you now. The, the space between the top of this and the bottom of these. I'll show you. frames are they're deep ones that's this long right here so and the spacing is good and all but the question is uh, I guess it's leave, leave a comment the, the distance between right down yonder between the bottom of that this thing when that's sitting on there See, see, you got more space between here and here, and I, I, I think that's the reason you have burr comb. I'm going to call you out on that right there, the bee world out there. An amateur that ain't had a bee hive more than one month and a half, and, and I think I discovered the problem almost instantly. Leave a comment. That's all they are to this, except this right here is a high top. It's got some rivets on there, nailed and glued in that way, and then it's got some plywood on there, three eighths, and that's telescoping. Okay. Well, 
I mean, tomorrow I'm going to build a, I'm going to build a base for it to go underneath this thing right here, and I'm going to build a, I'm going to cut that out in here and make a screened bottom board, and then I'm going to make a base for this to sit on with that angle front place right here, where the bees can come in uh, and get the job done. And, and then you'll slide out a tray back here or slide something in there to make it a, uh, or a spider already wanting to move in. You, you slide something in it and you've got a equivalent of a, a solid body. But in, in, this, in this basic form right there, I'm going to put some tin on top of it. You know, when I, when I get three or four of them to do, I'll get the tin out and nail some tin on there. But other than that, this thing's finished. You know, I'll put this thing right here. I painted this, and I don't think you're supposed to. Uh, one of them, that's where them, bee, that's where them little bees goes in there, so I'm, I'll probably won't use that. And I'll cut this one right here and put down in there. You know, trim it to fit on kind of that paint, and then put a little notch in it right there where them bees can, can be on guard all the time. But I'm going to call that finished. Now in the meantime, seeing how that, that, that I've got a 10 frame hive out there, Langsworth design, I went on ahead, that, that's a nook. They call that thing a nook I just had there. This is a nook. It'll need a bottom on it at the top. And, and I'm going to make that different kind of bottom all in one piece with a slant and a slide-in tray, maybe, or a screen, whatever you're going to put in it. But, and, and I, I just went on ahead and put this together because yeah. I had the wood there. Just carry right along. And there is some question about it, if you're supposed to paint these edges right here. Well, on this particular one right here, I'm going to paint them. Uh, you, you know what I mean? On any given one, I might not. But I think this is some pretty good latex paint. And you, you know sometimes that good latex paint will dry where it don't stick together. And it might protect it from the, from the weather a little bit. That's my thinking. But... to do this by, by the great, the large undertaking of SUSP Seeker. Uh, monumental in its, in its, in its, in what it is, it's a monumental uh, project. And, uh, but the, the worth etiquette, worth et, 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 etiquette, you know, the, the gumption, the, the, the get out there and do it part of it is uh, you know that's that's the that's the that's a that's a that's a very good it's it's good so and and just by this internet this this amazing thing. And I use that word with, with full intentions. Uh, the correct definition of amazing. Yeah, now who, who would ever think that the whole world is connected right now in some form? You know, I mean, really connected. Uh, recently, I had, I, had a, I, had a, I had to sign in to a different... I'll tell you all something. You know what I mean? If you're still here, leave a comment. That, that, you know, no one out there in the whole wide world will be able to put that description reasoning behind this but it's there uh, I think there'll be a couple of learned learn, there'll be a couple of scholars in the house tonight I'm sure I mean this just imagine this right here you're, you're sitting right there where you at still listening to me 
you know, a country boy from from Harlan County, Kentucky. And I and and, and be to be proud of that fact. Uh, to to no ends. You know what I mean? I'd still root for the football team even if they was losing. I'd still root for them. You know, it's hometown. What it was. Man. Whew. Well, I shouldn't set that on that end right there. I done done wrong on this project. But, and, and that's, that's, that's the, what SUV seeker, not, not to pass that up. To, to be inspired somewhere in your life to build a boat. And, and this dude building a ship out there. Now, I should go out there and see about that. You know what I mean? It's just things a person should do and see. And I should take a road trip. Go out there and see about that boat. But, but, but back to this birdhouse. I think if SV Seeker, if the dude was to build a, uh, if he is to build a beehive, you, you know, uh, this right here is what it would look like. I think it's, if, if SV Seeker had a beehive on his property, uh, this this is, uh, I think it passed. Well, see what the problem was. I think I set it down on this end down here. And, and to be honest with you, you can't see it, I'm sure, on the camera, but I did get some rubbish in it right there, so I'm, I'm, I'm putting another coat on it. <laughs> it's a beehive, you know, you, you can't say it's not good. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, it'll have to have two coats, I'm sure. If it does, you know, you just put it on there and forget about it. here on YouTube and uh, beekeeping dude uh, I think he probably knows a lot about bees you know you know what I mean I, I think the dude probably uh, I, I probably get stung more than he owns up to it you know what I mean <laughs> he's, he's a bee man and um, but but I heard that uh, one, one, one of the art one of the <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's true I shouldn't say nothing about it but I'm going to you know just for the sake of comment uh, whichever, yeah. So, oh, this is some color of yellow right here uh, on a white base. Uh, I think another coat, see, it'll, it'll, it'll darken up just, just fine. The what I heard, some complaints, some complaints. Now I don't know if this is true. You, you know what I mean? Don't quote me on it. Whatever you do, don't quote me. Uh, no, no, because I don't know nothing about bees. And uh, I think you can go down to his house. Now this is just the way I heard the story. You, you know what I mean? I, I don't know no facts to it or nothing. Uh, there, there'll be no, this is, this is for entertainment purposes only. Well, let me be clear that I, I don't know nothing about this. And, but, but, but the reason they come, it come, the reason that, I mean, it's a touchy subject, the reason that I'm beating around the bush about it. You know, painting beehives. You, you know, you're supposed to take that kind of serious, you know what I mean? You're not supposed to get out there and just throw some 15-cent uh, yard sale paint on a beehive. You know what I mean? You're supposed to go to the store and buy some good paint put on them beehives. I'm just saying, you know. 
I think them bees knows. And, and, and just let this be your thought right there. Next time you go out there fooling with your bees and one of them stings you, well, it's probably one of them that just remembered that uh, you used that old cheap paint on your beehive. You know, come along and sting you later on. Just get revenge. I, I'm just saying it's, it's a possibility. But, so, so I'm putting, I'm doing, I'm trying to do a good job here is what I'm saying. Two coats, you know. Actually, it'll be three. Time I get done, I'm a three coat man. I have always been. Uh, especially rust -Oleum. And this ain't. But. But as I'm painting along here, uh, you, you know, not knowing, I, I mean, I'm not a professional painter. That's what I'm saying. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm it, as, mo as much as I am a, I mean, I've painted stuff before, you know, but I ain't never had no bees before, so I, I'd say I was more a amateur beekeeper than I am an amateur painter, but, I mean, this is only the third one of these things I've ever built, so I don't know about them neither. But, you know, adding all that up, that's, that was my question, is adding all, all these things up that I don't know about painting. Let, let's say that I went down there and I took that course at this dude's house or wherever he goes, somebody's bee yard, I think. And I, and, I, and I had to pay some money. You know, I paid my fee and I went down there. And uh, I heard the first operation, as soon as you get there, you start painting beehives. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have no objections to that to the point where that sometimes it's not about painting a beehive. You know what I mean? This, this right here is not about painting no beehive. Definitely not. If, if I mean, that's the title, How to Paint a Beehive, but it's not about that. A therapy would be a good a hobby. You know, if you've got a hobby. I tell you what, I will tell you something. You know what I mean? If you're painting a beehive, you probably ain't bored. But see, I got that done already, real quick. And I, I've not had, I've not had a lesson. I mean, I've got okay. Right there is a perfect example. Now I got some paint on that. See, see right here. Can y'all see that? Oh, I rubbed it away. I rubbed it in. I, and that may have made it worse. I, I'm not sure even about that, if that made it worse or not, but at least it's level with the wood. Uh, but what I've done is i got some paint on the inside there. So if I was if I was taking the course about beekeeping, and it was my duty to paint beehives that morning, would by me getting paint on the inside of that beehive, would I fail? You know what I mean? How, how important... In the class is the be the painting part of the beehive part. That's two medium eight frames right there. Two medium eight frames. And this feeder I got, that's a store bought feeder right there. But it's it's part of the system. And I, and that's the reason for doing this is I had this feeder, I got it by mistake. The sales lady gave me the wrong size by mistake. And, and I, I, had, I was distracting the girl uh, with questions. I, I, had, I had a lot of questions that day. And uh, oh, it, was, it, was, it was a real good visit. Uh, I learned something. And I uh, was well pleased with, with the store. But, but anyways, I, I, and, and it's a good thing. Because I would not have built this. Yeah, I would. Because I need it. Uh, it's time that I have this. And uh, so I would have built one from uh, Blueprint. Uh, it's, I think it's kind of important in the bee, building beehives. I think it's really important. Now, I'm not sure. Check the book. But I think it's important that you go by the Blueprint. So the top and the fit on the bottom. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But, but 
I just wondered would I have felt it if I if I would have failed. See so right there's a little run. So it's not bad. I rubbed it away. And I was wondering would that fail me? You, you know what I mean? At, at what point in painting beehives, you know, how many mistakes can you make and, and still pass the course? You know, because I'm sure if you do it, it's 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 graded. You know, it's, it's just, I would hope you wouldn't be there doing something that was not necessary. But I also get to point myself. See, I got no complaint of it. Because if you're not dedicated to paint a beehive, uh, you know, if you don't find enjoyment in painting a beehive, then you probably, would, probably don't need no bees. Let's uh, let let this be the end of part one. Now y'all come on back next week, and we'll put this beehive together.